I just rolled up to uh, Dan's shop here at Wordworks Garage. We are going to go over the valve cover. Dan actually hasn't even seen it yet, but we're gonna go over it and we are going to test fit it on his actual personal car, which has an H22. Fit in the valve cover gasket, the spark plug O-rings, and we are going to put it on, make sure it fits, make sure clearances and tolerances themselves even work, which they should when you've done something that hasn't been done before, we actually don't know. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna mount it. If it mounts, if it fits, if it can be secured, we're gonna fire up the car and put it under pressure and see if it doesn't leak or does. Hello, Dan. Hello. Oh, that's okay. You guys have to see the Wordworks calipers that he does. These are some accurate joints. Okay, forgive me. Right here. I placed it down here. He can't see it because he needs to focus on that, but it's here. You guys already know what's up thanks to Cody. You've got an idea of what we have here. I don't know if this has ever been done before from the people I've researched, they said it hasn't. So I don't have anyone to reference really, but we're gonna clean it up. There's a little bit of, of extra print in certain areas and we have to scotch bright it, take a Dremel maybe and clean up those regions so the gasket from Dan's car doesn't get pinched or, or nicked in any way because it is kind of rough in certain tiny areas. So clean those up, get the gasket on there, put the spark plug O-rings on there and just press it down, tighten it down on his car, which is right here. Fire it up and we'll see what happens. This is Dan's personal car, which you guys will learn more about later. And this is some of the customer's cars he has. I'll show you this. You guys have already been in here with me many times, but these are all new cars. He finished those other projects. So I'll give you a little rundown. This Accord right here. This is an F20B, like what I have in my car. Jasma header, mounts, beautiful blue wrinkle F20B valve cover. So I'll show you what he has. FFC radiator brackets, polished up Jasma header, new powder coated mounts for the alternator, etc. Fresh white paint. FFC billet firewall plugs. Freshened up rear subframe, a little OEM plus kind of action. Brakes look all fresh and new. Cooling system. Okay, okay. I'm sure when I read the comments, I'm gonna catch it, but it is a, what is it? This is an automatic LSD. It's a transmission oil cooler. For MP1A transmission on this F20B. I have a very large handle on this particular GoPro, so I couldn't even get in there properly, so I apologize. He's finishing up with these Wordworks calipers and we are going to address this 3D printed valve cover. How did you just describe this F20B valve cover? Did you say it what? I said it has a little sparkly twinkle in it. <laughs> he said it has a twinkle. It's got a twinkle, man. It's got a twinkle. Just like the twinkle in your eye, big Mike. See, see this guy. All right, so I was just talking about, oh, did you guys refresh this or get a clean one? And he was like, no, we found a brand new one. So that is a brand new F20B, beloved to the H and F world of Cord and Prelude guys, blue wrinkle valve cover. But it is a very proprietary Honda color in that sense. And he said it has a little twinkle. What, what word would you guys use to describe the blue wrinkle on the F20B valve covers. Tell me what you would use to describe it because I don't think of the word twinkle. All right, so Dan is finishing up these halves. So here's something for you guys, right? You cut something in half, right? right. A melon, watermelon. Uh, I don't know what people cut in half, right? Apple. An apple, you cut something in half, but you don't half it. You halve it. It's not two halves. H A L F S. Okay. It's two halves. Halves. It's. I mean, you, I'm just. I'm overly enunciating, sure. but it's H A L V E S. Okay. So you have Correct. 
two halves, halves. You cut it in half, you take a two piece caliper, you split them into two pieces or, or equal halves. Half, half, whole, but they're four halves. <laughs> so Dan has been making these calipers um, like RL, completely rebuilt, any color, even the Acura logo. He's done custom ones. You can get it done in a few different ways. It's like this really consistent yet low key gig that WordWorks does. So it's pretty cool. But anyways, we are getting close to popping the hood on his car after we get to that. And I've just been letting him focus on this. He has a customer coming to pick them up. He's finalizing them, making sure they're all done and torqued up. And then we're gonna get to cleaning up this valve cover and test fitting it. So I appreciate your patience. Now, no more interruptions. Time to get to the valve cover. Benito? Si. Por favor. Okay, you guys, here it is, the unveiling of this 3D printed valve cover. And what we're gonna do right now is, I'm really excited to show you guys this. It's gonna look kind of crazy at first, but you'll see, so. Ready? Okay. So, I know it looks crazy. Don't worry about the mesh. Don't worry about these supports. This was done purposefully in a very flat type of version, almost like the uh, low cash B series one. It's very simple, but this is a full blown 3D printed valve cover. All of these things were done. I gave them a valve cover to scan, combination of OEM styling, a little bit of inspiration from other stuff. But when it comes to these parts, it's all meant to be OE, obviously, clearances, height-wise, etc. So you can see here, this is pretty perfect, and the valve cover gasket will fit in. But as we get to some of these curves, there's a little bit of material right there that could snag. Little bit of material here. And so we're gonna clean them up with something like a, you know, like a Dremel tip. It'll just go through real quick, a little, just real quick to catch an edge that might snag the gasket. And then this support material, will actually all come off. So you can literally break it off. That's what we're gonna do in a second. I started over here and you just start to break it off and you can see the actual shaping of the valve cover. So we wanna make sure it looks rough right here, but that's okay. It has to just matter here that when it sits, we tighten it down, valve cover gasket doesn't get pinched, cut, and it actually works. So what do you think? I think it's fascinating. Right, it's pretty crazy, right? That's crazy that that can be made. I mean, it is clearly a valve cover. Clearly. <laughs> and so we're, what we're gonna do right now, you guys, is we are going to break off. I already started here, so you guys can see. It takes a little bit more than your hand. And this is the outside. What really matters is the inside, right? And where the gaskets are gonna go. That's what matters. So you see right here, we want to clean that up so when we push in the O-rings, it doesn't snag them. So we're going to clean this up right now, pop off all this support material, and then we'll show you the finished proto. This is like the sub prototype because if this works, if the gaskets fit and we put it on, in this case, Dan's running car, start it up and just find no leaks, that means that every clearance on the underside, which matters the most, is good and then we can play with the design up top if I wanna add a little bit of an arch, design a spark plug cover. There's all these different, like a coil paint for the K-Series coils. Am I gonna run these like AEM high output coils like I did, remember on version two of the, of the yes. Big Mike Prelude? Yeah. When we had that CNC plate and they were up here yeah. above the ITB. So yeah, so there's a couple of ways, but what matters most is all the OEM spec. So that's what we're gonna do right now, break off all this extra. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys. Thank you for being here as we uh, continue to push and innovate and pioneer things. Forgot to mention, this was printed using glass fiber nylon that is resilient to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. So I can use a Dremel, we can give it heat up to 572. It will not melt, it will not deform, and it's sandable. So you could really, I mean, this is smooth, right? We could literally sand it and paint it 
and theoretically run it on a completely perfectly running usable car with the hood closed the ambient temps inside the engine bay shouldn't get over 572 and it'll be a perfectly functional 3d printed valve cover which is pretty crazy so well, let's uh clean it up this is what i was talking about right so you have it flows right through and then you see that it gets stuck right there so we're gonna clean up these edges and push in the valve cover gasket and uh test it out okay asmr Okay, so we're starting to, this shape is very similar to the, the valve cover that's on my Prelude right now, but that's not 3D printed, that was handmade before. But we are getting there. This whole support side came off here really easily. Now we're starting to see where the valve cover gasket goes and it's a, a more simplified design on purpose. The client, my client wants something like this. So just so you guys try to understand why, is it really just like a 90 versus curved and all that? The customer actually really wants something chill. And this was, I asked him, I'm like, it's gonna cost this much, potentially could cost less, could cost more. It's gonna take this many uh, dozens, maybe hundreds of hours over the next year. And he was like, do it. So here we are and we are getting closer and closer. I keep interrupting the process because I'm super hyped that you guys are watching this with me. So we'll get back to it. So Dan, Dan got this part up. So we're gonna see that's where the K-series coils or whatever coils are gonna go. And it comes off so cool. I'm gonna have to obviously clean up these mounting holes, but now we're starting to see even closer to a real cool Look at that. We just got to get these areas ready for where the cam gears go. Okay, back to it. All right, you guys. So here you can see, obviously it's a little bit rough here, but we got all the material out, right? You go all the way across, got all the material out. You can see it here, right? You can see it here. It looks good, but we, I want to clean it up a little bit more, but we got all the material out and now we're starting to look like a valve cover. Now we're missing a couple of things, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this to you guys in front of Dan's car so you can see the color contrast. So that's the top with the three, the two at the bottom. And we are going to test this out on this H22 for general fitment before we uninstall dance and mount it okay so we're gonna pull the spark plug wires right this is a motor he hasn't completed we're gonna pull this baby off two and three now the one thing that dan noticed and in the midst of all the excitement and running around and working with cody and working with all these things is these are not integrated into this cover now the main testing, I'm gonna still do it right now with you guys watching for the first time, but obviously that has to be corrected. So let's give it a shot. So just watch from the top. Do they line up here? Do they line up? Yes, I can see the stud head on each side, right? And it looks like Okay, that one looks a little tight. That one looks perfect. That one looks perfect. Okay, so it went in there, went in there. This one I don't like, the shadow. I don't know why that would be like that. That's in there and that's in there. So this is odd to me and I don't like this. This could be a problem. You see that, Dan? Yeah, it's offset a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do right now, those line up. What we're going to do right now is we're going to pull off the two in the center and try it again all right guys so this is where we are uh, dan removed these so somehow in the midst of the of the crazy time and craziness we didn't put provisions for that in the design which can be easily integrated but this is what's happening right now so i showed you guys here these line up just fine okay so if we line them up here and here and you can see it here, that's lined up, that's lined up. You guys see it? But this one, for whatever reason, is off like four, we need four millimeter this way. 
So we're gonna open it up and luckily, you know, this composite material, it will open up. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do right now so we can actually seat it all the way down on this H22 cylinder head. Dan's got a caliper and what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure not only does the opening have to obviously get over the threaded area, but we have to have it big enough to slide all the way down. This is the bit, I already went through this side. Okay, right through there, okay. And we should already be, I mean, it moves right, right through. We should be. Okay, so looks a little messy, but all we're trying to do is be able to walk this on, right? You see what I'm saying? So we should be good there. And we're gonna do this to the other ones. See if we can drop it on the head itself. Let's clean this up a little bit. Hi. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot, Dan. Let's see if that was even enough. We've got those two right there, did. Oh yes. Is it enough? Is it enough? Okay, okay. Uh, we actually might have to go bigger, Dan. So we, we gotta go one size up. Okay, so let's see. Just off left of center, per almost perfectly center. This one's still off. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go one size up, Dan. Okay, guys, so this is where we are. You can see it right here. You guys see that oil spot right there? And you can see it just slightly right there, just slightly right there. But this is the one that's most visible. What it is doing is it's making contact about here and here, right about there. So for whatever reason, it's just, when it, there's, we're just like, I don't know, 10 mil off or something. These are way down farther than OEM. OEM is like, it's got this much of a step, but the height of this valve cover is different. So we can't really go off of that per se, right? We're gonna clearance these a little bit. This side seems to sit flush. I think these need to be shaved down a little bit, just a tad. But other than that, I got one of the spark plug O-rings right here off this H22. And we have fitted in here, Dan, can you secure that? So we've got this side and we, we needed to make sure that this was good. And it is, it's tight, which is good. Now it's not sitting here because I haven't cleared this. But other than that, it appears that they sit nice and tight in there, which will seal. We are working on clearances inside. Other than that, we're pretty good with fitment on the exterior dimensions. But we're not there yet, but we're decently lined up here, here, and here. I think it looks crazy. It changes the whole thing. Like you don't even think of it as an H anymore at all. But we're getting there, you guys. This is the hard part about doing this kind of thing. So we are, you hear how solid that is? That's where we have some clearance issues. You hear that? Okay, so that's kind of, we're doing measurements with calipers right now and we are, we're actually getting there closer and closer and closer, but we gotta just keep on keeping on. It's, it's a very slow process, but we're getting there. We are going to take some measurements off of the clearances here and here and here, and we're going to apply them here, here and here and here and here. We don't have any issues here, but we're gonna just mimic that side. We're not using baffling because of different types of designs on the head. That's where we are. I appreciate you guys being here on this step of the process. We're going to get this to work. We are going to get this to work. We are not that far, look at that. Thank you guys for being here. Stay tuned. We are going to make this happen together. Okay guys, see you in the next one.